Today, we are going to look at what is Windows 11 Professional and how is it different from the Home Edition? Maybe you're in the market for a new PC and you're trying to decide which one to get. Maybe you want to upgrade your PC and you want to know what are the added benefits. Now, of course, it's cooler having a product called Professional, but is it really worth the additional $99 over Home? We're going to look at what some of the differences are so you could decide which edition is right for you. All right, let's check this out. Windows 11 comes with a bunch of new features. For example, you get Snap Layouts, multiple desktops, Teams integration, new widgets with weather, traffic, and calendar. You get advanced support for gaming, and you also get a whole new user experience with a centered taskbar. It turns out you get all of this new functionality whether you get the Home Edition or the Pro Edition. Microsoft doesn't hold any of this new functionality back. There are also no differences when we look at the minimum system requirements. If your PC is unable to run home, by going Pro, unfortunately, that just won't make a difference. The first major difference comes in when we look at the upper limits. With the Home Edition, it supports up to one CPU with 64 cores. You can also have up to 128 gigabytes of RAM, which is a lot of memory. Even your top of the line gaming PCs only come with 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's like if you wanna expand your house in the future, you could double the size of your house and you still have more room to expand. That is plenty for even the top of the line PCs. With Pro, on the other hand, the upper limits are just a little bit higher. You can double the number of CPUs. You could have two CPUs with up to 128 cores. Also, it supports a whopping two terabytes of RAM. Why would you ever need that much RAM? Even the most advanced spreadsheet in the world will never need that much RAM. Well, it turns out if you do a lot of virtualization, so you're setting up other virtual PCs, you might wanna assign one of your processors to that, or maybe you wanna assign a lot of RAM or memory to these different virtual PCs. But for your typical home user, you're just never going to need that much. Aside from the system upper limits, Windows 11 Pro also comes with something called the Sandbox. So what is a Sandbox? In the Sandbox, you can run a separate or isolated version of your operating system. And the benefit of that is, let's say you wanna install maybe a sketchy looking app, or maybe you wanna open an attachment that might be malicious. You can install that app or open that attachment within your sandbox. And if things go south, well, you could just close your sandbox, reopen it, and it'll just reset the environment. You'll have a fresh place to start and it won't at all affect your main PC. Taking that a step farther, Windows 11 Pro also supports something called Hyper-V, and this allows you to set up virtual machines. So let's say you wanna run a virtual copy of Linux on your Windows PC, or maybe you wanna run an older copy of Windows. You can do all of that. You can install apps on those virtual machines. You could open malicious looking attachments and everything that happens in those virtual machines is separate from your main machine. If that virtualization functionality sounds really neat and you're ready to pull out your credit card to buy Pro, one thing to call out. You can also get very similar functionality from third-party tools and it doesn't cost anything at all. There's VMware Workstation Player. You could find a link right up there. And there's also another tool called Oracle's VirtualBox that also allows you to set up virtual machines and you can find a link right up above. With Pro, you also gain access to something called Remote Desktop. This allows other PCs to connect to your PC that has Pro on it. So let's say that you have a desktop at home and you have the Pro Edition installed on it. You can go on a trip with your laptop and then you can use Remote Desktop to connect to your PC at home. With the Home Edition, you can connect to other PCs, but you can't have other PCs connect to you. You can only be a client. Now, once again, just like with the virtualization example, 
there are also third-party tools that provide this same type of functionality. For example, you can check out TeamViewer that does the same exact thing. But once again, you have to go out and get a third-party tool. With Pro, you also get access to more security features. You get access to something called BitLocker, and with BitLocker, you can encrypt the data on your hard drive. Let's say, for example, you have a laptop, and maybe someone steals it. The data or the contents on your hard drive will be safe. With the Home Edition, you can also encrypt your hard drive, but you don't have as much functionality as what you get with BitLocker. With Pro, you also get Windows Information Protection, and with this, you can set up different security policies. Let's say, for example, you run a business, and you don't want people to forward information outside of your company, you can set up a policy to do that. Those are the main features that your typical home user might be interested in. Probably not, but maybe they are. With Pro, you also get a lot more functionality that's really intended for enterprises and managing machines. For example, you could join Azure Active Directory. You could domain join your machine. You could set up your PC as a kiosk. You could participate in group policies. You could also use Windows Update for Business, just to name a few. If you don't know what those are or what those would be used for, you probably will never need those, but those are some more features that come with Pro. Hopefully that all makes sense and you now understand the difference between home and professional. If you found these features compelling enough to go pro, it's pretty easy to upgrade. Simply go down to search and type in activation. Within activation, you'll see the option to purchase pro in the store for $99. Now, if you're just a home user, home edition will probably be good enough for you. If you're a professional and you use your PC for work, it might make sense to go pro. To see more videos on Windows 11 with the best tips and tricks, check out the playlist right up above. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time. Thank you.